We know how to work out the longer side of a right angle triangle if we're given the other two sides using Pythagoras' theorem. When angles are involved, we need to use trigonometry. So in these examples here, we have some right angle triangles, and really there should be some squares here to show where the right angles are. It's very important that we can label these triangles. If we look at the first one, we have 30 degrees, and to label this triangle, I'm first going to draw an arrow, which is opposite the right angle, and the side that my arrow um, goes towards is going to be called the hypotenuse, or hip for short. Now, you know this from uh, Pythagoras' theorem. This is the longest side of the triangle. Uh, if I now go opposite the angle that I'm given, so 30 degrees, that is called the opposite, or op. And the reason for that is just because it is opposite the angle that we know, or the angle we want to find. Um, and then the remaining side is called the adjacent, because adjacent just means next to, and this is next to the angle. So if I wanted to label this larger triangle on the right, I've got my hypotenuse here, which I'll just call H. I've got my opposite here. And I've got my adjacent here. Finally, I've got my hypotenuse. I've got my opposite. And I've got my adjacent. A nice acronym to remember is that less is more. And what this stands for is L for label, because we're first going to label our triangles. E is for equation, because there are three equations that we're going to use, or three trigonometric ratios. And S is for substitute, because we're going to substitute numbers in. And then the final S is for solve, because we're then going to solve our equation to find out what we want. Here's an example. I want to work out the sine, cosine, and tangent of this angle here. Now, to do this, I'm first of all going to write down what these actually are. The sine of an angle, so sine of theta, because that's what this angle is, theta, is equal to the opposite of the triangle divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And finally, the tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. We can um, remember this as a mnemonic as so toa because we can put them into formula triangles as follows. So we can put all of these into formula triangles. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. <clears throat> this way, we can just cover up what we want. But in this example, we just want to find the sine, cosine, and tangent. So sine, so if the, well, the first thing we need to do is actually label the triangle. Let's do our less is more. So opposite the right angle, that's our hypotenuse. Opposite theta, that's our opposite. And the remaining side is the adjacent. So that means the sine of the angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is just 4 over 5. Cos of the angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 3 over 5. And tan theta is the opposite over the adjacent, which is 4 over 3. have a look at another example here. So we want to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of the angles alpha and theta. So firstly, for alpha, let's label the triangle for alpha, and I'll do that in red. So opposite the right angle, that's always our hypotenuse. 
opposite the angle we care about, so that's alpha, first of all, that's our opposite, and the remaining side is then the adjacent. <coughs> to work out the sine, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So to work out the sine, it's going to be 12 for the opposite over the hypotenuse of 37. I'm going to leave it as a fraction. Um, cosine is going to be the adjacent, so cos of alpha. I should write it in full, cos of alpha. Cos is not a number, it's a number machine. Same with sine and tan. Cos alpha is the adjacent, which is 35 over the hypotenuse 37. And tan of alpha is the opposite, which is 12 over the adjacent, which is 35. Now in blue, I'm going to consider the angle theta. So opposite the right angle, we still have 37 as our hypotenuse. But the other ones I'm going to change. So 37 is still hypotenuse for theta. But then, if I just delete these, um, opposite theta, we have 35. So now 35 is the opposite and 12 is the adjacent. So if I want to work out sine of theta, because it's sine of a different angle, the numbers are going to be different. Opposite over hypotenuse is 35 over 37. We can see that's the same as cos alpha, funnily enough. Cos of theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's going to be um, the adjacent is 12, so that's going to be 12 over 37, which is the same as sine um, alpha was. And lastly, tan of theta equals the opposite, um, tan of theta is the opposite, which is 35, no it's not 35, yep it is 35, 35 over the adjacent of 12. and that gives you tan theta. Here are some questions for you to do. Find the sine, cosine, and tangent of each of the angles in the triangles. So uh, for the first two, x and y, and then after that, 30 and 60. Please pause the video now and have a go, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Okay, let's go to the answers. So firstly, we are gonna have, for the first one, let's label this as Hypotenuse 10, opposite x is opposite, and then we have the adjacent as 8. So sine of x equals opposite over hypotenuse, 6 over 10, which is 3 fifths. Cosine of x is adjacent over hypotenuse, 8 over 10. And finally, tangent of x is going to be the opposite, which is 6 over the adjacent of 8. Uh, for the triangle at the bottom, if I label it first, I have my hypotenuse 7.21, opposite is 4, and the adjacent is 6. Um, sine of y is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, 4 over 7.21, which is 400 over 721. Uh, cos of y is adjacent over hypotenuse, 6 over 7.21, which is 600 over 721. And finally, tangent of y is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So that is, no, that's totally wrong, sorry. The tangent of y is the opposite over the adjacent, 4 over 6, which simplifies to 2 thirds. Um, finally, we have sine of 30. So I'll just write these down first. We want sine of 30, cos of 30 degrees, degrees obviously, and tan of 30 degrees. Let's work these out. So first let's label the triangle. Opposite the right angle is our hypotenuse. Um, if we look at 30 first, opposite of 30 is one, and the adjacent then is 1.732. So sine of 30 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is a half. Cos of 30 is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's gonna be 1.732 over two which is um, 0 0.3416, I think. Or 0 
uh, 0.866 and the tangent is going to be opposite over the adjacent which is 1 over 1.732 which is um, 0.577 or thereabouts and lastly if we want 60 degrees so I'm going to rub these out and label it again for 60. <clears throat> well, opposite the right angle is obviously the hypotenuse. Opposite 60 is our opposite. And then the remaining side is the adjacent. So I have sine 60, opposite over hypotenuse, 1.732 over 2, which is um, opposite. Sine 60 is opposite of hypotenuse. Um, so that's obviously the same as cos, which is 0 0.866. Cos of 60 is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is a half. And tan of 60 is going to be opposite over adjacent, which is 1.732 over 1, which is 1.732. The important thing is that we can calculate missing C right angle is the hypotenuse opposite the angle we're given is the opposite and the remaining side is the adjacent if i want to calculate side ab we need to identify which ratio we need to use so now we need to select the equation so i'm going to write down so ka toa and i'm going to tick off what i have or what i want so let me explain this I want AB, which is the adjacent. So wherever I see an A, I'm going to tick it. I have the hypotenuse, which is H. So I'm going to tick that off too. And whichever ratio has been ticked twice is the one I use. So I've ticked cosine twice. So that's what I'm going to use. <clears throat> so I'm going to write down cosine of 50 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. But that is just the adjacent, which is AB, over the hypotenuse, which is 6. So if I want to get sick, if I want to get AB on its own, cos 50 is AB over 6. To get AB on its own, I need to multiply both sides by 6, which will give me AB is 6 times cos 50, because we're bringing that 6 up to the other side. And I can put it into a calculator as follows. 6 times cos 50, close bracket. Remember to make sure we're in degree mode. And I get 3.86 to two decimal places. So it's 3.86 centimeters. If I want side AC, it's very similar. I just need to tick off what I know and what I want. We have the... Well, we want the opposite, so I'm going to tick off any O's. We have the hypotenuse, so I tick off H. We can see the sine ratio has been ticked twice, so I'm going to say sine of 50 equals opposite over hypotenuse. So I can say sine 50 equals, right, the opposite is um, what I want to find out. That's AC, and the hypotenuse is 6. And what I can do is multiply both sides by 6. So I have AC is 6 times sine 50. And I can write this down. AC equals 6 times sine 50. Close bracket. And I get 4.596, which is 4.60 to two decimal places. Here are some questions for you to try. I'd like you to try and find the missing side of the triangles below. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers.